James Eric Fuller. Today marks 10 years since a gunman opened fire during a Congress on Your Corner event in Tucson, killing six people and wounding 13 more. Former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was among those injured, sustaining a traumatic brain injury she still battles to recover from to this day. And while that tragic day brought a lot of pain and suffering, it also brought the community together, in fact, the entire state, igniting hope and inspiration all across Arizona. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks shares the powerful moments of today's virtual remembrance ceremony and bell ringing held at the newly completed memorial. An emotional remembrance ceremony commemorating the 10 year anniversary of the devastating shooting that claimed the lives of six people and left 13 more injured during Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's Congress on Your Corner event outside a Tucson grocery store, starting with the presentation of flags. They represent the first responders whose departments were at the site of the shooting and whose actions help save lives. Then powerful words from former Arizona Congressman Ron Barber. This is a time each year when the emotions of that horrific day come back in full force. Barber, who was working as Gifford's district director, was among those wounded that day. Today, my inbox and my phone was filled up with messages and caring. A prayer offered by Banner UMC's chaplain, Reverend Joe Fitzgerald. We pray for healing of our nation and an end to violence. And the sound of a bell ringing at exactly 10, 10 a.m., the time when the first of 33 shots were fired. The names of those killed and survivors read aloud. Kenneth Dorushka. On this 10th anniversary, an inside look at the opening of the Embrace Memorial they've worked on for so many years. It reinforced what a small and tight community feel there can be in a crisis. A recording shared from Gabby Giffords exemplifies her strength and courage to move on. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting better. Showing how a day that brought immense sadness and depression also brought love and hope in the decade that followed. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Trisha, thank you. And if all goes as planned, the memorial should open to the public by early February, depending on the status of the COVID-19 public health emergency.